Once upon a time, there was a squirrel. But it wasn't an ordinary squirrel. It was a Kung Fu squirrel. The squirrel doesn't have a name, so we'll call him Bob. Bob was walking through the forest to his house. Then he heard a scream. It was a squirrel who was being eaten by the wolf. Bob ran towards the screen. When he arrived, he saw a squirrel tail hanging out of the gigantic jaws of the wolf. He couldn't believe his eyes. The wolf spit the squirrel out of his mouth. It was Bob's best friend. He was the Prince of Forestasia. Oh my god, he killed the Prince of Forestasia! Bob thought. I wasn't there in time! It's my fault that he's dead now! At home, he's thinking about revenge. While he was thinking, someone knocked on the door. But there was nobody. Only a newspaper. Shocking! The prince and princess are eaten by the wolf. It's sure now that the crown prince is dead. The princess is not dead, said Sally the snail, an eyewitness. The wolf has eaten her in one big bite. So she doesn't have any wounds. She's just stuck in the wolf's stomach. There will be more information tomorrow. And now, a lot of apples fell on a tree on Randy Rabbit's house. Ah, that's not important news for me. Bob said, I will travel through the whole forest in order to get to the dark and scary lair of the wolf. And so be it. Bob traveled all the way through the forest and found the lair at last. Inside the lair, he saw a gigantic staircase leading to the highest tower of the lair of the wolf. It was so big that he couldn't see the end. And it was so tall that even a giant would be jealous. So Bob took the elevator to get to the top. He entered the room and saw knives and forks hanging on the wall. He was scared because he saw the head of the prince of Forestasia. He couldn't believe his eyes. He walked on and at a certain moment he walked into the private room of the wolf. Then he said, Where am I? And why? I didn't even make a plan. He walked on into the wolf's office while thinking about a plan. But it's too late. The wolf was standing at the door. Bob screamed like a good first year student that just heard that he had a one for his history test. The wolf said, I'm getting hungry again. Hmm, squirrels tonight's dinner. It's my lucky day. The wolf picked Bob up and brought him to his room. Bob saw Princess Brenda of Forestasia. She's still alive! Help me, Bob. Use your Kung Fu skills. Of course! I'm the Kung Fu Master! I almost forgot! He escaped from the wolf's claws and put on his Kung Fu costume. And he put on some good music. So you want to fight with me? Bring it on. I call it six ninjas. All ninjas appeared Everybody through the floor and walls and fought, fought Bob. While Bob fought, he said, And that's one! That's two! Three! Four! Five! And six! Are you done with your useless techniques? No, you still have to beat me. Okay, that's easy. Meet my squirrel 360 kick, bitch! What the fuck, man? Screamed the wolf after Bob handed the wolf some more kung fu kicks. He said, Man, give up! You're weak! Okay, okay! Cried the wolf. I surrender! And the wolf fell down on the floor. Bob unchained the princess and they went out of the house. When they were outside, Bob said, Let's go to the Kentucky Fried Acorn. Okay, said the princess, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs>